Anytime you even up, you know, back in SEC play, you get to three and three, it's a great feeling, especially after you start 0 and three on the road and get swept. Um, it's not a good feeling, but our whole week was kind of based around, hey, we're going to have a good week, we're going to have a good week. And <clears throat> us older guys kind of came together and were like, hey, we're going to stay positive and we're going to stay together and we're going to get these guys going. So that was our whole deal. How much do you think that's due to guys starting to settle into their positions on the field and it's kind of starting to take shape there? Well, anytime you have a young group of guys that are just entering into SEC play, um, it's pretty much a learning experience because Friday night you're going to face a guy that's mid-90s with a good breaking ball. Saturday you're going to face a guy that's lower 90s to mid-90s with a good breaking ball. And I mean, every night you're going to face a guy that's pretty good. And um, When you get used to that and, and, and you get used to going on the road in front of hostile environments when you play in front of the same crowds you play here, especially at Arkansas, that's kind of when you get used to the game and the game slows down to you and, and, and everything just gets easier. So. Talk about your own work mate, behind the plate there. Now that you got it back healthy again, you can get your innings in and you seem to have warmed up the plate as well. Well, I, you know, for me, it was just kind of being consistent for our team, and, and that's my whole deal behind the plate. Throw people out if, if people go, uh, block the ball up when I need to, when the guy's on third, keep it in front. Um, and then at the plate, man, it's, it's doing what I need to do. If I need to bunt, bunt them over. Mm -hmm. If I need to hit and run, do that. Or, you know, if there's two outs in, in a late game and there's a guy on second and third, do what you can to knock him in. You know, that's what I told the urn guys. You're not going to knock them in every time, but to have a good at bat and, and fight through it, and a lot of times it'll work out. So, you said The pen had a pretty good weekend this past weekend and things. What have you seen out of those guys and their progression and, you know, kind of having to overcome some, some rough late innings earlier in the year? Well, anytime uh, you have a, a new set of bullpen arms, it's pretty much a learning experience too, just like position players who are young. Um, these guys have grown comfortable, and it's all about confidence, man. I mean, in anything you do, it's about confidence. and. And with those guys like Riley Self and Spencer Price, who kind of like our one-two punch in the eighth and ninth inning, man, those guys, they get out there and, you know, I go out there and tell them, hey, this is what we're doing. Um, you're better than these guys. Let's go get them, you know. And, and it's just simple. And, you know, Coach Henderson's done a really good job with these guys. These guys have grown um, with him. And, and, and it's really comforting to see because I think we're going to keep growing, keep growing. You know, man, it's just about filling up the strike zone. We're going to continue to do that. Around this time last week, this team dedicated to moving Rooker up and putting McNamee and Brown at four and five. How has the dynamic of the lineup changed? <sighs> well, anytime you you have Rooker protected, it's good. Um, you got Mangum in front of him, and I like Rooker in the two because Gridley's swinging it well. You got him behind him, so you pretty much have to pitch to him. And, and y'all seen the dude swing. He's a special player. And, you know, you don't really see those guys much, you know. And um, the dynamic of the lineup is really good. Mack and me starting to swing it, and us guys at the bottom of the lineup, you know, that's big for us. We're starting to swing it too because we're going to have guys on in front of us with those guys hitting. And, you know, as long as we continue to do that and we're able to hit one through nine, obviously it's going to be pretty good for us. Um, we were kind of waiting on that explosion to happen uh, like we did on Saturday. Um, and we'll look to continue to do that. You know, our, our whole deal is, hey, get the guy, the starter off the mound as quick as we can, so getting that pin. It's a really busy week now, Tuesday, Memphis, then immediately go jump into the fire at Ole Miss. Oh, man, it's going to be a fun week. You know, we want to go to Memphis, and, and, and we want to make a statement and, and beat those guys, and that's our first goal is, hey, we're going to Memphis as a business trip. And then from there, we're going to go straight to Oxford, and, and, and you all know, man, it's a battle over there. And, you know, I played there two years ago, and it's just um, a toss-up. Any type of rivalry, whether it's baseball, football, basketball, whatever, um, is just a toss-up. You know, we're going to play hard. Uh, we're going to play fast, and, and we're going to stay under control and do our best to win. But like I said, it's going to be a battle. Um, Swayze is a crazy place. Um, I guess you could say their fans aren't too fond of us. It's just a good rivalry, so we look forward to going over there and playing.